Hello guys, welcome back. Now, I have a huge trade report. Noah Hannafin getting sent to the Carolina Hurricanes for Noah Hannafin back to the Calgary Flames and also a few other pieces. Now, this trade was announced smack dab right in the middle of the NHL draft, and it was a great trade. It was a, I, I qualified this as a blockbuster trade for sure. So let's get to the pieces being switched back and forth, shall we? For Calgary, they received Elias Lindholm, who had 44 points this season. Noah Hannafin, Noah Hannafin, who got 32 points this season. He's 21, and he had a good season. I felt like he had a pretty solid one, and next year he could have a serious breakout season. I think he's poised for that. But the pieces going back to the Carolina Hurricanes are Dougie Hamilton, who had 44 points this season, Michael Furland, who had an underratedly great season, 41 points, and Adam Fox, who is in the NCAA. He's 20 years old. He's a defenseman, and with Harvard University this season, he had 29 games, uh, 6 goals, 22 assists for 28 points, a very solid point-per-game player as a defenseman down there in NCAA. Let's start with Adam Fox first. He can become a top four defenseman, I believe. He can become a guy that is really good in the future. And Carolina already has stacked defensive prospects, so they just add another one to the pile and of an already impressive defensive prospect pool. You have Michael Furland, who was underrated last year, physical, uh, yeah, he can score, and he has some offensive prowess, a good two-way guy, and he really brings a lot to the team, and Michael Furland is a guy that would bring pretty much everything, physicality, fights, and offense, and defense, he can pretty much do anything, a 5 will to a player, pretty much decent in everything. And of course, now you got Dougie Hamilton, the top two defenseman, a guy who will definitely fit well in Carolina. I feel that he'll be a great fit there. And Dougie Hamilton, I feel like he's going to be a good fit. He already was a good fit in Calgary, but now to an even, to an even better defensive pool and a prospect pool. It's going to be a good fit. And Dougie Hamilton playing well in Calgary while the rest of the defense not so great. I feel like Hamilton will get another start here in, Cal in Carolina, and that could be good for him. Uh, less pressure a little bit more than Calgary, but I feel like Hamilton will have a good season and possibly even better than last season. Now to what Calgary receives, they of course get Noah Hannafin, who had 32 points last season. I thought he had a pretty good season overall. When I saw Carolina Hurricanes games, he was pretty solid, and I thought he was top four defenseman caliber, and he played like it. And at 21, you know, defensemen usually take a while to develop, and of course he was a top pick back when he was drafted, so he still has time. I feel like next year at his age 22, that's one of the few years where you could break out. I feel like Noah Hannafin will definitely do that. I think that he could possibly play like a top two defenseman next season and play very well for Calgary. I think that Noah Hannafin will have a great season next season and have a fresh new start in Calgary. And then you got Elias Lindholm, who is pretty underrated in my book. A great winger. I'd say a top six guy. And he can definitely have a good season in Calgary. He has some good offensive support. And that top six in Calgary is already pretty good. So I feel like having Lindholm and adding to that will be very good. He's an amazing third line center or third line line winger if you end up putting him there. But I feel like he can, can play like a top six guy. And he definitely has that talent. He definitely has a talent level. And he's showed it in Carolina already. He definitely has some offensive ability. Defensive side, it's not the greatest but offensively he's pretty gifted and while there's a lot of talent being switched back and forth it's hard to decide who the winner is here i'd say it's a pretty even trade for both teams I'll say it's hard to tell if either team won this trade if it helps either team but it feels like the talent level is pretty even so far now, if I had to pick a winner here, I used to think that ca that uh, Calgary got a steal here, that Calgary was, oh, they just got an amazing haul, but the more and more I looked like it, I feel like Carolina got pretty, I thought Carolina had won this trade just a little bit more than Calgary did. I feel like both teams can definitely succeed from this trade, but I feel like Carolina just got a little bit more better than what Calgary ended up having. Now, the big reason for that is literally Adam Fox, and if he turns out to be nothing, this trade is a lot more even to me, but Adam Fox is the big piece that I feel is going to be an NHL contender is going to be a guy that will definitely help the Carolina Hurricanes in the future and a guy that obviously will be a good player and in the NCAA he's already been dominating I feel like he can definitely make that push to the NHL and he'll be a guy that can definitely be a half a solid career and I feel like Adam Fox is a guy that sways this whole trade over to Carolina for me when you, let's look at the wingers Michael Furland with Elias Lindholm I would still say that Lindholm has the advantage but it's a lot more even than people may think and then you have that Noah Hanton fan Dougie Hamilton comparison, I'd say that Dougie Hamilton is a better defenseman now, but Noah Hanfin might be better in the long run. 
So, so far, it's pretty even, and the one thing that sways this trade is Adam Fox himself, and he just seems like a top four guy, and I feel like he can definitely achieve that goal and definitely get there in Carolina, and he's the one piece that really sways this to Carolina for me, and just a little bit more. I feel like this trade was even until Adam Fox was put in, and for Adam Fox to be in there, that good prospect that I feel has a great chance at the NHL level, I feel that's the big prospect that I have hope in, and it sways the trade, in my eyes, to Carolina's favor. Now, of course, it could definitely go the either way. If Hanfan has a great bounce back season, has another breakout season next season, that would be great. If Elias Lindholm can keep putting on the production, that would be fantastic. Let's say Hamilton takes a step down, that might be bad. If, if Ferlin doesn't take the offense that he had last season, you know, this trade could look a lot more on Calgary's side. But for right now, I see this going on Carolina's favor just a little bit, especially with Adam Fox being factored in. But nonetheless, whether you think that Calgary won or Carolina won, it was definitely a blockbuster. We saw some great talent being exchanged, and it's always fun seeing just these wacky trades come out of nowhere and see the crazy trades happen. Again, we haven't seen a lot of them this draft so far, so it's nice and refreshing to see finally something big happen. But in my eyes, I feel like Carolina won this trade, and especially with that Adam Fox piece, I feel like they had just propelled them to it. And for me, it's a close trade, but we'll have to see how Adam Fox produces, how everybody else produces in this trade, and it's going to be interesting to see how everybody gets affected by this trade going forward until everybody's future. But it's definitely fun seeing some trades for once, and it's great seeing some of the talent exchanged. It's good to see the, some blockbusters, and this, I definitely qualify as one. So that's going for today, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment below what you think of this trade. Did Calgary won? Did Carolina won? Who do you think won this trade? I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.